Yeah, I'm not liking the mage. But to be honest, the mage is pretty bad. Oh, Welcome back to the channel. We are finally going to get some answers. Yuito's phase 11 is coming up where we get to talk to Akana herself. I've already done the bonding missions for all these people. So let's get it popping. I'm sorry I made you all worry. Are you all right? I'm fine. And we have to hurry back to the Kunad Gate. We're going back there again? Do you know what we can do about it, Mother? Yes. We must get rid of the entanglements in the Kunad Gate, or the world will eventually be destroyed. Entanglements? Entanglements? What are they? We should head to the Kunad Gate before I explain it further. Why? Okay. Then we'll go to the Kunad Highway. Everyone get ready. Mom, you can have a seat here. Thank you. You got so big. Huh? <laughs> that was sudden. You joined the OSF. How's Kaito? Are you getting along with your older brother? He's good. We don't really get along anymore. Oh. Can you tell me what's happening in your time, in the present? And that's basically it. The only other thing is the existence of the Kunad Gate. Thank you. Along with Babe's data, I think I understand a lot now. Are we almost ready to leave? Oh, yeah. We are. Uh, Mom? Wait, why are we explaining y things to you? You're supposed to be telling us how to get rid of the Kunad Gate. Something doesn't add up here. Because... For one, if Babe sent all of this information to your brain, then wouldn't that make you have the same motive as Babe? I think what she's going to do is try and throw Yuito into that kunai gate. You're just like your father. Huh? No. Kaito is the one who looks like Dad. Actually, people tell me I'm not much like him. I'm not talking about your face. I was just about to say that. Telling someone they're just like their father. She didn't say look. She said you are just like your father. That means she wasn't talking about looks, idiot. It's how you act. Yuito, about your father. I'm sorry I didn't tell you what he was doing. He did awful things but it was him that saved me from togetsu he was kind oh. kaito said he would change this country too he's wanted to be a politician ever since he was little but i guess he could only take your father's path as well kaito did but i it's all right you and kaito are your fathers and my children I know you'll make up someday. Right. Not. So as, as long as he wants revenge on the moon, absolutely not. Feeling unraveled time together. Akana came from 11 years in the past and leads them to the Kunai Gate. She tells them how to close the gate. Well, you just spoiled it for me, so there's that. Pause. She tells us how to close the gate. I thought you said the only way to close it is if Yuito dies. That's what you told Kasane. Now animate this, folks. Do not go to storyboard. Things are moving fast, but I'm hoping you can tell us how to deal with the Kunad Gate. You said something about entanglements? 
Ultimately, Yuito and Kasane have to enter the Kunat Gate and unravel the entanglements. What I'm telling you here is just a concept. The traces interfering with time should look like tangled red threads. According to Togetsu's theory, whenever you jump through time, a dimensional hole like the Kunad Gate is created, but it should then disappear. The reason this hasn't disappeared is because Yuito and Kasane's powers resonated. The Kunad Gate is different from the theorized gates in that it's persisting in a distorted state. Using a distorted gate for a time jump creates entanglements. If you can unravel those entanglements, you can close the Kunat Gate. Distorted? I don't really get it yet. But when you say, enter the Kunat Gate, do you mean go into that hole in the sky? No. That strange space. Is it inside the Kunat Gate? You saw it too, when the gate first opened. Oh, that place with all the weird images? That's right. That strange space that Kasane mentioned exists inside the Kunad Gate. It is a concept of space that only exists for those with the Red String's power. Togetsu called it the Kronos Terminal. Perhaps it's a kind of station or junction point for traveling through time. Man, shut mm. up, boy. So only Yuito and Kasane can perceive it. I guess that explains why we didn't notice it when we jumped to the future. When there is time contact between 2020, when the gate was made, and another time, entanglements are created. Time contact? So then, okay, unless we're about to address it now. Unless they're about to address it now, I need to know why is Corrin jumping through time not affecting this kunai gate at all? Is that any different from time travel? It's a broader definition of time travel. Even if you don't arrive at that time, even if you just attempt, basically, if someone with the red string's power even touches that time, there is a trace. That is time contact. The only way to actually see which times have entanglements is for the two of you to go and check for yourselves. So I guess the only thing we can do is leave it to Yuito and Kasane. Even if we find the entanglements, we won't know how to unravel them until we see them. The Kronos Terminal is conceptualized by your powers, so you'll know how to unravel them. Another question. If all of this is left up to Yuito and Kasane, what was the point in giving us all these other characters? Not with reason, but with intuition. Also, I'm weak, but I can use the red strings, so I'll support you from here. Okay, so we just need to use the red strings again and enter the Kronos Terminal. I'm going with you this time. You don't know what kind of dangers will be there. Make sure you're ready before you go. If it gets dangerous, you both come right back. Don't worry, we will. Just take care of my mother. Keep her safe. It's all right. Don't worry. She has blue hair, but she has black hair in the storyboard. Hurry. We're brown. We will protect Wakana. All right, we don't have much time. Let me know when you're ready. So, I saw you again after all these years, but we haven't really talked. I get that the situation won't allow it, but shut up, boy. Good to go, Kasane. I'm ready. Focus your consciousness together. Picture the site of the Kronos Terminal. How can they picture the site of something they've never seen? To the Kronos Terminal. We will unravel those entanglements. 
I was going to say something, but I'm not going to say it because it's beneath me. To be sure, I can't use everyone's SAS in here. It looks like we actually made it. Are each of those images connected to different times? We can't just stand around. We have to search for the entanglements. <laughs> I guess it's nothing new when it's your third time. So, how do we find them? I don't feel anything yet. This is... It must be Mother. Is she guiding us? Let's go! Others? How are they inside the Kronos Terminal? Calm down. That place is built from your consciousness. It's an imaginary world. It is a very unstable place. Your fear and anxiety, all of your emotions affect it. The memories of your past made others appear. So, so basically, then... you're saying that these others were created by our mental immaturity. <laughs> that makes us sound pretty lame. But if we made them, we can take them down, too. I know the two of you can handle it, but be careful. Why can't you just will them to disappear? So if our consciousness has made it, is this other an illusion? It sure looks real. And as long as your brain thinks so, it's the same as if it was. Yeah, apparently. We have to fight it. It might be easier to electrify now that it's wet. Here we go. Here we go. Now die. Over. Hey, do you feel something? Yeah, it's like my head is buzzing. It's weird. I don't understand, if they created these others with their brain, they should be able to just will them to disappear. This is the old OSF hospital on that day in 2009. It's an entanglement. Okay. Yeah, I don't understand it, but I can feel it. This is definitely it. If we want to successfully unravel this, and I'm betting that we have to use the red strings, our power. Yes, I feel it too. We should be able to make this work. Ah, another one! Let's hold it off while we unravel the entanglement. What? All right, I know we can do it. Right, Yuito? Yeah, right. Let's go. Let me borrow this. This is not gonna let me attack who I wanna attack. the whole time this will make the kunad gate disappear hey kasane that day i never got the chance to thank you properly so thank you for saving me you can't be serious what that came out of nowhere you were the one that saved me 11 years ago at the hospital right I remember it perfectly now. I used to be a dud, and then all of a sudden I had powers. 
My power awakening? I think it was because you shared yours with me. What? Powers aren't something you can just share. Yeah, I know what I'm saying sounds silly, but if it were possible, it was thanks to meeting you that day that I'm still alive and have reached my goal of getting into the OSF. That's what I think, so... Thanks for saving me. You're welcome. Is that what I'm supposed to say? <laughs> you look totally confused, but that's okay. I think it's unraveled now. Everyone is probably worried about us. Mother's power. I can still feel it. So, there's more than one entanglement? Didn't we go through if this so, already? It's simple. We just have to unravel all of them. Right. Okay, let's go. Did she not say that before? <laughs> we did unravel that entanglement, right? I think so. But something still feels off. So you feel it too. Something's bothering me. Yeah, this Wakana is playing you for an idiot. There's another one. Is that 50 years in the future? That should be gone. <gasps> this is the other that attacked Yuito. In this. this should work. Unravel it. Okay, so unraveling the entanglement. Uh, I think that's all of them. Have you ever thought of what you'd do if you could change history? You mean by traveling to the past? That would just create new entanglements, though, wouldn't it? I mean, after the Kunad Gate is gone. If you could use the red strings freely. Well, yeah. I mean, sure, I've thought about it. If I had done this, or hadn't done that, something would have changed. All those regrets are still there. When Nagi asked, what should I have done differently? I just couldn't come up with an answer. That's because you're an idiot. What he should have done differently was when they said, hey, if you don't kill you, each other, we're going to kill you. What he should have done was he should have went up to Yuito and said, hey, Yuito, they're going to kill me if I don't kill you. So I'm going to need you to help me fight them so that we can live. If you notice, Yuito's still alive. Nagi's not. So, do you want to use the red strings to change the past? Mm. No, I don't. And this is why I get put off from this game. So far, changing the past has done nothing to hurt the present or the future. So why wouldn't you go back and save Nagi or Naomi? That's so stupid. Because even if you change the past, you won't know how it will affect the future. But we're in, we're changing the past now, right? For future Yuito, we're changing the past. So if we don't know how it'll quote unquote affect the future, what's the point in us trying to close the Kunai Gate now? Nagi might not have gotten caught up in all of this if he wasn't my friend. If he hadn't joined the OSF, if he didn't admire them, if I mess with the past that much and just overwrite his life, is that really saving him? That's the it's dumbest not just thing Nagi. I've ever heard. If you change the past, it would affect the lives of everyone in the world. It's not something that one person can burden themselves with. That's the I don't think it's right to only heard. care about what you wish. There's a lot that I still can't accept, but it's not something that I can just ignore as if it didn't happen. I know it was a silly question. I'm actually surprised, or maybe I'm just relieved, because now I know I'm not the only one having these thoughts. Oh. 
Before, I would have answered differently. But now that I've met everyone, the way I see the world has changed. Explain one thing to me. If you went back and stopped Naomi from getting turned into another, how would that affect anyone on this team besides you? For the worst. It wouldn't. It would just go in and make everybody's it would implant in everybody's mind that Naomi was saved from being shot by a bullet rather than turned into another. Nagi would still be there. Seto would still be there. So how is that a problem? That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's the same for me. You know, I really want to skip We actually this. have a lot in common. I think it's a little early to say that. This is Mom's... There's still an entanglement? But all the time periods we traveled to... No. Now's not the time to think about it. Can you keep going? I'll be okay. I'm probably just a little tired from using my brain too much. We should hurry. You've been using your brain this whole time? I couldn't tell. You only traveled to those two times, right? Yes. I think those are the only ones. And yet somehow you just forget about Major General Corrin traveling through time multiple times trying to save Alice. Isn't that... The Sumeragi Crest. That's it. This is the image I saw at the start. Right. Yakumo Sumeragi's crest. It seems like a time entanglement appeared then. What? How? Former Major General Karin. So they're going to keep coming. We need to unravel the entanglement. This actually might be easier than I thought. At this rate, I should charge. Uh, it should work. I need to support the injured. Yep. Easier than I thought. Okay, that should... Uh, uh. Yuito? This is bad. I don't think I can take much more either. So, did we do it? That should be all of them, right? Probably, but something doesn't feel right. Karin and Yakumo Sumeragi. What happened to them? Yuito, Kathane! <laughs> Mom? Mother. And both of y'all are trash. I'm sorry. Both of y'all are trash. Where am I? Oh, good. You're awake. It seems like we made it back. What's going on? The Kunad Gate. Why hasn't it disappeared? Well... Good job, you two. It's all okay now. What? But... Mother, we unraveled the entanglements. So why? <sighs> Leave the rest to me. What? Thank you for growing up so strong. You've made a lot of wonderful friends. Those connections are much more valuable than any red string. Treasure them for the rest of your life. Mother? Let me guess, she's gonna <laughs> sacrifice herself, huh? <sighs> Mom. You can't go back to the past. If you go back, Toketsu will. It has to be done. Forgive me. The longer I remain here... 
the more painful it will be. <laughs> the more no, painful it will be. There's still so much that I need to say. Mother. <laughs> Yuito. Kasane. Live on. Knowing you're happy is all that I could ask for. So she goes back to be killed by Tagetsu anyway. So today is the day. Oh. I may give you my brain. But you can't have my memories of the future. Kaito. Yuito. Kasane. Animation would be nice. The body has been confirmed as the target Wakana. Current theory for cause of death is cerebral overload due to a malfunction in the personality rehabilitation device. We believe an irreversible memory wipe was conducted. There is significant damage to the memory regions in her brain. Following protocol and retrieving her brain. So she kills herself, huh? I see. There was an entanglement from when Mom time-traveled. Mother. She explained it to us earlier when the two of you were gone. The Kunad Gate wouldn't disappear as long as she was still present in this time. We have a message she left for the two of you. Let me send it to you now. If that's the case, and you knew that... Why didn't you just tell Kasane what to do when she went to the past? What now? I'm sorry at the part like this. I should have told you what I was trying to do, but I didn't tr tr trust myself to be calm talking to you two. I summarize what I told your friends. I'm going back to my time now. No, I should say that I went back. There are three reasons. One, to protect the history of Wakana Sumeragi dying in 2009. So let me get this straight. So let me get this straight. You could have lived past 2009, but I mean, let's let's forget. I mean, we already have proof that you can live, like you can escape death because Kagura is over 2,000 years old. So is uh, Kyoka. So let me get this straight. 
you went back in time so that you could die in 2009 just like you did I mean just to protect the history of that particular death you see what I mean I don't have to go back and die in 2009 but just because it happened before I'm going to go ahead and do that now Two, to ensure history where I received the red strings data set. To ensure the history where I received the red strings data set by Togetsu. Second question. You don't want Togetsu to succeed in sending the Earth and the Moon back to before Earth was colonized. So why would you want to preserve their data, their history? Why would you even care about Togetsu's history? They sent the data to me because they salvaged my brain and connected to it, connected it to Babe. So my brain has to be collected by Togetsu in 2009. Again, why? Why would you want Togetsu to stay, uh, stay around? I thought the whole plot, the whole plan was to end Togetsu so that you could stop them from pretty much erasing everybody. So why would you want to... And what's number three? To erase the entanglement I created. So why couldn't you do number three, right? And avoid number one and two? Because let's not forget, she willingly walked up to Togetsu and sat on that machine and gave herself a brain overload. Willingly. You could have went to New, New Hamuka. And stayed in the government. And had you know all the Septentrions protect you from Togetsu. Well. I don't know if that would have worked all too well. Considering Kagero was able to kill Josu Moragi. But still. If, if someone with the red strings power who is from a different time than you to passes through the kunai gate an entanglement is created. As long as I try to pass through the, the Kronos terminal the entanglement can't be eliminated. But my death eliminates the power and cause so the entanglement can be erased again that is no excuse why now that Yuito and Kasane know about the entanglement they could take a couple of hours to rest this thing is going to consume the earth in about 60 years so they could take a couple of hours rest, go back in and undo your entanglement. You can still live in 2009 and then keep going from there because they undid their entanglements and they undid Corin's entanglement when he killed Yakumo Sumeragi. So why wouldn't they be able to untangle your entanglement for, for coming to the future? That makes so basically you just wanted to die in 2009 that's pretty much the whole the whole gist of it you wanted to die in 2009 that means that I have to carry out my life in my original time I've had this plan ever since I received the red strings data this will eliminate the kunai gate what happens to the world after that is left up to you living in 2020 Please work with your friends to make a better future. P.S. I know I must have hurt you both. But I was happy that I was able to see my precious children grow up and strong. Thank you for being born and for living. For giving me happiness. I pray that you will see so much more happiness than what you, you gave me. Yuito Kasane, I will always love you, Akana Sumeragi. 
I'm sorry. But this whole time jump red string stuff doesn't make sense at all. It doesn't make sense at all. Mainly because the Kunai Gate formed because of um, Nagi killing Seto in, at the Kunai Highway. So all you have to do to stop the Kunai Gate is go back to that time period and stop Nagi from killing Seto. And if there's something different, answer this, why is it that Corrin can go back in time multiple times to try to save Alice and not create a Kunai Gate, not create any entanglements? Why, why is it that and then I know she said those with the red strings would go through time, create entanglement. He has the red strings. He stole it from Yuito and, and Kasane. So he should have created entanglements too. And I don't know what all this is. What kind of knew from the start that she was causing an entanglement? So... Apparently, the entanglement will unravel when Wakana returns to the past and dies like she did in history. Or she could have returned to the past and then we untangle it, but she just wanted to die. I know she would have wanted to talk to the both of you some more, but she thought spending more time with you would only make things more painful. So basically, the writers just wanted you to feel like and wanted to tug at your heartstrings. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't tug at these. And no, it's not because I don't have a heart. It's because I'm more a fan of logic and common sense rather than trying to create this narrative where you have to die. That's not the case. I, I mean, there's several ways you could have lived. She could have lived through this. Hey, um, don't be so down. I'm not saying that because I'm worried about you. I said that because it affects platoon morale. Shut your mouth up, boy. Who do you think you is? Wakana wasn't from this time period, so her situation was different than yours. Wakana is you, Kyoka. Or did you forget that you're 2,000 years old? You are Wakana. Matter of fact, you are the Wakana before Wakana, Dr. Pope. I'm sorry. I know this hits the two of you harder than anyone else, and I'm here crying. Let me move on before I slap you in the face. <sighs> That's all you got to say? <sighs> well, I mean, you are lazy, so you probably think talking is too much work. The uneasy feeling I had when we unraveled the entanglements 11 years ago was because Mother's entanglement still remained. All right, now I'm completely confused. The long pause was me reading this over again to make sure I read correctly. When we unraveled the entanglements 11 years ago, it was because mother's entanglement still remained. What other entanglement was there 11 years ago? The one where Karin killed Joe Sumaragi, I mean, Yakumo Sumaragi, was thousands of years ago. It had to be, because Yakumo first founded New Himuka, and that was thousands of years ago. Um, the other entanglement was 50 years in the future. So there was only one entanglement from 11 years ago. But this says entanglements plural so what other entanglements besides the one where Kasane went to the past to get Wakana in the first place was there because if it was Wakana coming back if one was Kasane going there and one was Kasana I mean Wakana coming back 
then uh, why weren't we able to entangle the other one for Wakanda? All right, so what is preventing me from going forward here? Is it uh, Kagura? She held back her feelings so she could part with you with no regrets. She's a great person. That's strange. It's still there, right? Wakana has returned, so how come it didn't disappear? Have all the entanglements truly been unraveled? All the entanglements we felt we unraveled. The ones 11 years ago, 50 years in the future, and the one during Yakumo Sumeragi's time period. What? What does Yakumo Sumeragi's time period have to do with anything? I think one formed when we witnessed Yakumo's assassination. What are you talking about? Yakumo was severely injured in an accident, but he wasn't assassinated. We don't really understand it either, but we saw Yakumo Sumeragi being killed by Karin. What did you say? <laughs> we were busy dealing with the entanglement, but yeah, there's no doubt in my mind that that was former Major General Karin. He copied Kasane's power. Yuito, if he also copied your power. But he didn't copy my... He could have time-traveled by resonating Kasane's power with mine. So it hasn't disappeared because of the entanglement Karin created when he traveled back to Yakumo's time period? But the two of you couldn't find an entanglement. How do you expect to unravel something you can't find? Karin can unravel his own entanglement. Yes, exactly. The only thing we can do is take Kar into the Kronos Terminal and have him unravel the entanglement himself. Wataru, can you check Karin's location? I figured you'd have- This doesn't make any sense! Did we not untangle that? Did we not unravel that? Where- where he killed- he killed Yakumo Sumeragi. We unraveled that entanglement. That was the third one. So... Ask so I've been working on it. I've got nothing. I can't find him at all. It's like he's disappeared. Supposing that he's traveled to Yakumo's time period, that would mean he's in the past. That's where you're going to find him. Are you too sure the people you saw were really Karin and Yakumo? We're sure. We could see their faces clearly. Actually, we only saw Karin's face. But that was Yakumo. I mean, he had the same mask on as all the depictions of him. Ah, uh, yes, that's it. The mask. That explains everything. Kagura, explain. Whoa, Sugumi, calm down. So, you know how Yakumo started wearing the mask because of the injuries he sustained? Rumor was, sometime after the accident, he suddenly stopped appearing in front of people and his whole personality just changed. Whole personality changed? You're not suggesting... A double. The real Yakumo was assassinated by Karin from the future, and Karin took his place by putting on the mask? It doesn't matter. Either way, we still need to travel back to 2,000 years ago to check. Actually... No, we might not have to travel at all. You all saw my brother's video, right? Don't you remember what he said? <laughs> Yakumo Sumeragi is alive! What are you... He is asleep. Deep beneath Suo. Even now, he is waiting for his revenge! <laughs> Kaito is mad. Right. Cold sleep. Just like Kagero. If Yakumo is in cold sleep under Suo, then we can find out the truth by meeting him directly. If former Major General Karin replaced him, then he'll be the one down there in cold sleep. I'm not entirely certain as to why he did what he did. But we can talk to him and have him help us unravel the entanglement. Do we know where he's sleeping, though? 
I mean, Arahabaki is the only area I can think of that's under Suo. I mean, Sumeraki Tomb is the first place I thought of where Yakumo would be. Do you think he would really be in such a heavily trafficked place, though? How about it, Yuito? It's your family's tomb. Yeah, that makes sense. But I've never even been inside the building before. The head of the family is responsible for watching over Sumeragi tomb. I might be able to find something out if I talk to my brother. The chief? Do you think he'll listen to us? Actually, I've been trying to reach my brother's terminal, but I'm not getting through. There's a chance he might have blocked me. Wataru, can you ask Major General Fubuki to talk to my brother? I doubt he'd refuse a call from a Major General. Okay, leave it to me. I just don't know how soon I'll get a response. Wanna stop by our hideout then? I'm sure Yuito and Kasane could use the rest. Good idea. It would be smart to rest while we can. Thanks, Gemma. All right, let's head back. Man, Gemma, you still a joke. I, I just gotta put that there for you. Welcome back. I messaged Major General Fubuki. He said it might take some time to get in touch with the Chief. Thanks, Wataru. I also asked about Major General Karin, but apparently Major General Fubuki doesn't know anything either. I see. Then I guess he really is in the past. We don't have any other leads at the moment, so let's hope he's in Sumeragi tomb. So you're just gonna go to Sumeragi? What? That was it for phase 10? I feel like I should talk to Kagero. That was it for phase 10? I mean, phase 11? Hold on, let me... Are we really... I mean, there are only 12 phases in the game. Yeah. Wow. Well, folks, looks like that is going to be it for this video. Um, when we come back, we will do the final, well, phase 11 for Kasane, which probably won't be much different than this. Um, and just like with Kasane's phase 10, um, if everything's the same, I'll only show what's, what's, uh, different and might even if, if it's short enough um i may just add it to the end of this video so if uh after this after this video is over if there's like a bonus with kasane's phase 11 then it's mainly because there wasn't enough of a difference to warrant a video on its own so i just added it to the end of this um but yeah, that's going to be it for Yuito's Phase 11. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We didn't get mon we didn't get many answers. All we got are pretty much uh, forced plot deaths that didn't necessarily have to be. Um, but you got hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, you know what to do. Stay blessed.